Hello, hello. This is Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're not a Scorpio sign, please make sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There will be some messages in there for you as well. Also, remember to the reading can be vice versa. Flip it around and reverse it, male, female, reverse the roles, etc., and so on. Keep in mind that this is a general reading and will not resonate with every Scorpio in the universe, okay? So take what messages resonate and delete the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit, okay? So I have pulled already pulled your earth messages to save a little time, okay? So we have lurking. Uh-oh, Scorpio, somebody's lurking around, watching you, praying. Telepathy. Curious. Understanding. Jealous. Oh, Lord. Coherced. Fear and decisive and signs. Okay, all right, Scorpio. Let's go to our golden art nouveau tarot. When I was shuffling earlier, the emperor and the empress came out. So let's see if they come out again. That would be divine feminine, divine masculine. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does my Scorpio need to know for their highest good and love? Give us a good, accurate reading, please. Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Angels, Holy Spirit, thank you. For Scorpio, the son of Scorpio, thank you. All right, <laughs> got the King of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, this King of Wands, this could be... Um, somebody you were dealing with in the past or still dealing with this is fire sign energy all right this is a very this is an entrepreneurial energy it could be you it could be the energy you, you're in or your person okay king of wands on the bottom we have the king of pentacles oh my gosh two kings already taurus capricorn and virgo this is somebody that's financially stable grounded balanced okay this could be a husband all right, husband, something like that. Husband or wife, take it how it resonates. Okay, we're not going to take that one right now. All right, Scorpio, what else do we have in my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does my Scorpios need to know for their highest good and love? Please give us a good, accurate reading spirit for my Scorpios. I love my Scorpios. You guys are my best viewers. You give me the most views of any sign. Not saying I have a favorite sign, but my Scorpios seem to get are the be the most loyal. So I love my Scorpios. Thank you for your support, and I really appreciate it. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossing your spread. Excuse me. <laughs> Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. Okay, so now we already have a couple on here. The King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see where this goes. Get me a drink real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> on the bottom we have the Five of Swords. That could be some narcissistic behavior it could be this um king of wands here i don't know i'm just going to keep going i'm not taking that right now i'm going to see what comes up what else does my scorpio need to know for their highest good for their love life thank you spirit wow these cards are going everywhere guys we have the three of swords okay this is uh air energy aquarius libra gemini somebody could have Someone hurt your feelings, Scorpio. Someone broke your heart, put you in third party. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, could be this um, King of Wands. All right, could be both. Could be King of. It could be either one of these, but I'm getting it's the King of Wands. Okay, something like that. 
that's crossing your spread. Let's see what's on the bottom. The bottom is the Page of Swords. <laughs> so we have somebody lurking. Might be that King of Wands there. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Somebody's lurking. Somebody's watching you, Scorpio. Okay. Okay, what else do we need to know from my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For their love life, for their highest good. What does my Scorpios need to know? January 30th, 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. We've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Okay. This means that this is a fire sign energy with that King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I'm getting this King of Wands here. It's King of Wands. For right now, I'm thinking this is your energy, the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You got the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So something is not moving. Somebody, you know, you're not communicating with your person. You and your you and your person may have not been communicating for a long time. It's just kind of what I'm getting. Um, looks like that King of Wands may may have broken your heart, put you in some type of third party. Um, they're not talking to you. They're not coming forward. I think they might be have some fear, something like that. And they're watching you. They're watching you too with that page of swords. They're lurking around watching you. That's about all they're doing right now. There's no communication that I can see. Because this is definitely no communication. Everything has stopped. Okay. So you may not have talked to this person for a long time. Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Maybe there was no equal give and take in that relationship. Giving and receiving money. Maybe you were the one doing all the giving. And they were doing all the taking. So, let me see. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to take that card right now. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we need to know from my Scorpio for their past? What do we need to know from the past for my Scorpio's love life? That What do they need to know? What past events happened that we need to know about Spirit for Scorpio? Send me rising in Venus. Scorpio, thank you. The Page of Wands. Okay, here's another fire sign. Okay. This King of Wands, this is a person that, this is a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in the past. Um, they might have seen you as an exciting opportunity, or you might have seen them as an exciting opportunity. Things could have been, at a time, it could have been happy. Okay. This, I'm getting to this page of wands is very curious you know maybe they were just curious to see what was going on what kind of person you are i don't know but this is some kind of communication in the past from this page of wands or they're seeing you as some kind of you're that they're they were seeing you were seeing them as some kind of exciting opportunity and you found out that they were they put you in a third party and i think this page and this king of wands is the same person that's what i'm getting all right, maybe that's what you were seeing. Yep. Eight of Swords on the bottom. Yep, you could have been all up in your head about this person. This Page of Wands here. I'm getting that Page of Wands and that King of Wands is the same person. You could have seen them as an exciting opportunity and you don't. Maybe they just put you all up in your head. They put you in third party and kind of left you hanging, put you all up in your head. And you had a really hard time getting out of that mindset. Okay. That's what I'm getting right now. Oh, Lordy. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm not taking that right now. What's coming up for my Scorpio in the future, please? For Scorpio. We 
have the Two of Swords. I'm getting this is this is this King of Wands, Page of Wands energy. Um or maybe you, maybe there there was something. Maybe they're gonna come back to you, they're gonna try to rec reconcile with you, and you're gonna be you're not well, maybe you're decisive about it, but they're not, okay? I don't know. Maybe you want to reconcile with them. They want to reconcile with you. But somebody is indecisive. Somebody can't make a decision right now. There is something that you're not seeing about this person, okay? There's something that you're not seeing. See that blindfold on this person? There's something that you're not seeing about this person. They may come in and try to reconcile with you because they're watching you right now. Oh, yeah. They're seeing you as the Ten of Cups. All right, this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yep. I'm getting that this King of Wands, Page of Wands person from your past that puts you in a third party. I'm getting that kind of... They're seeing you as their Ten of Cups. All right, but maybe... In the past, there was something they weren't seeing, you know, I don't something like that, something that they weren't seeing. They had like a blindfold blinders on, they weren't seeing something, and they may be they may they be they may now they're thinking about you. And they're thinking about they're thinking about manifesting, trying to manifest the Ten of Cups relationship with you, but they're not they're not decisive okay and there's something that you're not seeing about them something like that <coughs> excuse me but I get Scorpio you're the decisive one you've probably decided to toss this person out a long time ago all right okay what else do we need to know for my Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus how are my Scorpios seeing themselves right now the Knight of Cups. This came out when I was shuffling. The Knight of Cups. Okay. Yep. What I'm seeing here is this person, this King of Wands, Page of Wands energy that that puts you in third parties that broke your heart, is thinking about coming to you. They might want to reconcile. They're thinking about having the Ten of Cups with you. They're thinking about when times were happy. They want to have a family with you. Okay, but maybe they're indecisive about it, and maybe there were, there was something in the past that they weren't seeing about you that they see now, okay? The blindfold is going to come off soon, and they're going to see. Because what's going to happen now, they want to come prancing in like the, uh, page, like the Knight of Cups. This could be them coming in for you. But just be careful, because the Knight of Cups is a lover. This could be just somebody coming in for romance. They might sweet talk you, tell you what you want to hear, and then gallop on away again. Okay, could be, not always, but this this Knight of Cups is known for that. But just be careful with that Two of Swords there, because there's something that you or that person is not seeing. Yep, that Knight of Swords this is on the bottom. That Knight of Cups, <laughs> they just want. They may just want to come in for a little passion and then gallop away just be careful okay all right okay okay what else do we have for my scorpio sun moon rising venus what else do we have for my scorpio oh gosh there's another knight coming in here Knight of Swords and Six of Cups. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Knight of Swords. This is a very aggressive energy. You know, this is very, very aggressive. You might have two people coming in for you. This Knight of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And they the Knight of Swords is, is going to come in for you also. They see you as the Six of Cups, which is a twin flame soulmate life partner. Or... This Knight of Swords could be somebody, that King of Wands, Page of Wands from your past. And maybe this Knight of Cups might be somebody new. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to figure this one out. So you got two Knights on here. 
That's two potential suitors, but one of them is from your past, which is this Knight of Swords. They're going to come in real aggressive. Be careful with that person, that King of Wands. They may be, um, hmm, they may only be coming in because they're jealous, maybe because you have somebody new coming in. They're watching you. They're curious about you, Scorpio. There's something that they weren't seeing in the past. They weren't seeing this. They were in the past they weren't seeing you as a ten of cup relationship. There's something they weren't they're seeing something very special about you now. They're gonna start seeing it with that two of swords. Okay. Oh my god. Five of swords on the bottom. Yep. This is a narcissist right here. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Here they are. This is the Knight of Swords coming in after you. This is the same person, that King of Wands, Page of Wands energy from your past. It could be just a page. If page is a younger fire sign that you were dealing with in the past that broke your heart, put you in third party, they may they can they may be coming they're gonna come back in for you. And they're gonna they're still the same person. They're still a narcissist. They still are a mental manipulator, play mind games. Yep, narcissistic tendencies there. I would be very careful. I wouldn't deal with this person. If it it's page of wands, it's a, probably a young, like a younger fire sign, and they had you trapped all up in your head. That was past energy. But now they weren't seeing something about you before. They're seeing you now. They're seeing you as the ten of cups. They. They may not have seen this. It's something they weren't seeing before. But they still are. They're still a narcissist. That's what I think. It's that person from your past. That page of wands energy. A younger fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Just be careful. And this knight of cups is, could be somebody. It's going to be some somebody different. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. What else do we need? And you know, like I said... Eight of Wands, there's been no movement, no communication between you and this Page of Wands person from your past. It's, so, you know, it looks like a younger fire sign. All right. Three of Pentacles. They may want to come in, that Page of Wands, fire sign, King of Wands, may want to come in and work with you now, work on a solid foundation. They may want to, they may see you differently now. It may... Now, before, they weren't seeing you. They had blinders on. They weren't seeing it that, they, that you were their Ten of Cups, but you are. Now, they're going to, they're seeing it. There's something that they weren't seeing, something that you weren't seeing, too. Now, they want to come in and work with you. But remember, that's that narcissist that they're going to come in real fast like lightning. All they're doing now, they broke your heart, put you in third parties, okay? And now, they're just watching you, and you're not, they're not talking to you. There's no communication, according to this reading. Now, keep in mind, it won't resonate for everybody. You may have decided to do away with this person, okay? And they might not think that you have, see, they have this Knight of Cups coming in. They might think, they might just be jealous of that. They might see you, someone else taking an interest in you, and they could just be jealous, you know, they might just be coming in because of that. Because you know how that, that, that usually gets people moving. And they might cut, try to coerce you into something with that Five of Swords. Be careful. All right. Hmm. We got a Three of Swords and a Three of Pentacles. Definitely third-party energy there. Okay, let's see. What is the outcome for Scorpio? What is my outcome? That wanted to come out. Uh, the Four Swords. Okay. <laughs> four Swords. Looks like to me, Scorpio, that this is something. Look at this. This is something. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have decided. you very decide, very decisive. You have decided to put this situation to rest. Because this person, this Page of Wands, King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy... Put you in third parties, three of swords, three of pentacles. Definitely third party energy. They're only coming in. 
they're watching you. They're not talking to you. They're just being really immature, probably because they're in the page energy, page of wands, fire sign, younger fire sign, okay? So you've decided to put this situation to rest. You're healing right now. You could have reached some type of understanding that this relationship is not for you. Of course not. Because you don't, you know, know who wants to be in a relationship like that. They could, like I said, that fire sign could just be jealous because they see someone else take an interest in you. There's a Knight of Cups and Ace of Wands. That's a passionate new beginning. But watch out for this Knight of Swords. That's your past person. They're coming in, and I would just be very careful. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you've decided to put the situation to rest with that fire sign. And outcome, they may try to come in and apologize, okay? That's the Page of Cups. All right, this is uh, Water, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They may call you. Right now, there's no communication with the Eight, eight of Wands reversed. They may try to call you, apologize to you, whatever. But you've already had it in your mind. You probably want to put this. You've decided. You've been very decisive about putting that situation to rest because they put you in the third party, and they're going to come in and apologize. But they're going to be like this. That younger fire sign. They're going to come in as the Knight of Swords. That's coming back from your past, and they're going to come in this energy right here. This Five of Swords energy. This Five of Swords. Where my Five of Swords card? That's going to come in this Five of Swords energy. And they're going to be like, pretending like they're going to want to work on something with you. But it's really, it's all a facade. This is a narcissist you were dealing with, okay? Younger fire sign. Being young, may I, you know, I don't know the age group, but just somebody younger. Younger fire sign. And this king of wands could be your energy, I don't know. But in the past it was a page, it's page energy. Somebody from your, they're coming in. And they want, they're going to try to apologize to you. But then you got somebody else here coming in too. Just remember what that person puts you in third parties. They broke your heart with that three of swords. All right, let me see. All right, who's this page of wands? Verifying the page of wands. Who is this page of wands for Scorpio? Holy Spirit, holy angels. Who is this page of wands? Who is this page of wands? Please, Spirit. Who is this page of wands? For past energy for Scorpio. Give us a card on this page of wands. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't get any more verification than that. <laughs> the page of uh, verifying the page of wands. And Knight of Swords then come out twice. So there they are again. Knight of Swords. Person from the past. Page of wands. Okay. <laughs> wow. They're going to come in five of swords and come in and try to manipulate your mind. You've already put the situation to rest. But they're still going to try to come out and apologize. But they're going to be in this manipulative mode. They're going to try to cohere you into something. They know you've probably put, them, put their ass to rest, you know. Put their five of swords ass to rest. But, you know, that's that person from your past. <laughs> wow. Okay, and judgment came up. That person's that person's gonna be judged. That page of page of wands. That person is facing some heavy some karma, some judgment. That's what I'm getting. Cause they did this to you, and they did this to you. All they're doing is lurking and spying. They're not communicating with you right now. They're acting like a page. They're acting immature. Okay, so just saying. But they're they're gonna get they're getting some judgment they're getting some karma coming their way, you know. So but they are gonna come in because they didn't. This Knight of Swords didn't come up twice. <laughs> three of Pentacles is on there. Justice, yeah. We got the Three of Pentacles. Justice, yeah. More karma. Justice, karmic justice for you, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles again. This is past energy. See, they have walked away from you. Put you all up in your head. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Shit. Okay. 
And this keeps coming up. There was no equal give and take in that relationship. You were doing all the giving. They were doing all the taking. And Lord have mercy, the devil on the bottom. That person could be in some type of addiction or just be a damn devil. Okay? Take it how it resonates. <laughs> you could be single right now, Scorpio. This is a, a my single independent person. Okay? And that page of wands has had a tower over you. Yep, there it is. All right. Who is this Knight of Cups and Ace of Wands? What is that all about? Yeah, all that Page of Wands is doing is not talking to you. They're lurking, watching, not talking, just being really immature. And they're going to come in and try to play head games with you again. I wouldn't do it. I'd leave them rest. This could be a fake apology. Okay, I don't mean to sound so negative, but all these threes and all these swords and stuff i mean i just have to i have to be honest about it scorpio okay so page of what is this uh knight of cups what who is this why are they here because we've determined who that is who is this knight of cups <laughs> The moon, okay, it could be a Pisces, okay, can be a Pisces, could be someone intuitive, oh. got the eight of swords on the bottom, this is the same person, oh my god, Scorpio, look, we got this twice, see, hmm, Yep, this is all the same person. They're they're coming in. Man. <laughs> okay. This Knight of Cups is the same person as this Page of Wands, King of Wands, Energy Fire Sign. They're going to come in. They're going to try to make you some type of romantic offer. You know, with the moon. They could have Pisces in their chart. They might be, um, they might know you're intuitive, okay? This moon moon card can mean you're intuitive, Scorpio. Um, this Knight of Cups may come in and try to make you some offer of passion. And they might, or some kind of offer. And they know you're intuitive. So if you don't take the offer, it might just be about six. Then they're just going to gallop off. Okay, gallop off. Now look. <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio. This is crazy. Because then you got this Knight of Swords twice coming in. Wow. Somebody from your past. Wow, shit. This could, now this could be, this could go two ways. This could be a new person. Okay. It could very well be a new person. It's not the same person. But I got the Eight of Swords on them too. You could be all, maybe you're, maybe this is somebody that you like, that new person that you like, that you're all up in your head about. This is, could be a Pisces, a water sign, you know, could be somebody intuitive, somebody you're intrigued with. Wow. Because right after that, I got the Hierophant. All right. This might be uh, somebody that wants to be in a committed relationship with you. This could be some kind of spiritual teacher. This could be uh, you, you know. Because this is what this was in the position of how you're seeing yourself. You could be some type of spiritual teacher, okay, or a Taurus. So we've got uh, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we got Taurus, Earth sign, and we got Pisces, and we got Pisces down here too. Um, somebody else could be all up in there. Somebody could be all up in their head about you. This could be somebody different, okay? So we're gonna see. We'll look at that and see who this is. Try to figure out who's who here. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing. This is the King of Wands. Let's make sure. Let's get him straight. He, I think he might be the same person as the Page of Wands, but let's see. Who's this? Page, who's this King of Wands? Why is he on here? Why is this King of Wands here? Because you got a King of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles. We already got a couple on here. Who is this King of Wands? This could be your energy. 
could be in this type or this page. I'm getting more like um, you're the Queen of Pentacles, but we're gonna see. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> yeah, this is the same person. <laughs> page of Wands. Yeah, they want to come in. This King of Wands wants to come in, back in and communicate with you, because <laughs> they are they can't sleep. We got that for that same person. This is the same person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. Fire sign, younger fire sign energy there. They're they can't sleep over you, Scorpio. They're having sleepless nights. Yep. They're in their that that's what's going on. This is the person that's all up in your head about you. Yeah, this is this Knight of Cups. This is just, <laughs> I'm not laughing. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? I'm getting this is your energy, but we're just going to make sure. We got two fives, and we've got three, three, three on here, because we've got the three of pentacles twice, and the three of swords. So we got three, 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 and five, 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 and five, yeah, five, five, five on here so far. So pay attention to those numbers. Wow. Okay. Let me ask this question. Who is this queen of pentacles, please? Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. Yeah. All right. Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Scorpio. This is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Energy could be very grounded, financially stable, balanced. Okay. This is you, Seven of Wands, standing up for yourself. Fire energy. Not taking shit from no one, doing what you want to do, in spite of who likes it or not. I told you, you were decisive about putting that fire sign person to rest, okay? Yep. Something was illuminated to you. We have the sun and the moon card here together. That could be, that. that's very spiritual. That could be a soulmate energy, but something was illuminated to you about... That fire sign that you were not seeing. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups again twice. Two tens. And we got the moon and the sun. Wow. Okay. Someone is holding on to you with their heart chakra. With the Four of Pentacles. Alright. But this is you. Okay. So, so far, we have... <laughs> Yep. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Pentacles and your person is the King of Wands, okay? They're right now they're not they have they're all up in their head about you, but you do have the sun and the moon together. And you got the six of cups, all that soulmate energy. Ten ten of cups twice. I don't know, Scorpio. You may have be putting it to rest for now, but you know, I don't know. Just be careful. This person could be praying for you. Y'all could still be having mental telepathy. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Okay. So, let me find my moon and my sun. But right now... 
this was a person from the past, same person, Knight of Cups, same person, all that, okay? King, the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. That's you, you're the Queen of Pentacles, your person's. So we have the Sun and the Moon cards together, which is very, very good cards to get together in the Tarot, all right? If the star comes out, then I'm, I'm just going to start tripping, okay? Then we have this soulmate energy. Six of Cups, same person, that fire sign. They're all up in their head about you. They want a passionate new beginning, but you're over here defensive. See, you decided that you're putting this shit to rest, so that's your side of it. But they're really having a tough time. They can't forget about you. But I, the only thing that worries me is this Five of Swords and this third parties. I don't know if they're still in these third parties or not. Okay, somebody wants a committed relationship. That um, King of Wands. Yep, same person. They're going to try to come at you a bunch of different ways. All right. They, they do want to apologize. <laughs> oh gosh okay let me see but right now the only communication is telepathy because there's no command there's nothing going on right now they may still be with the third party we're gonna find out <laughs> wow Okay, let's get one on these Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get one on this. Um, looks like this King of Wands wants to come back, but you don't. You don't. You're you're not. You're not having it. You're not having it. You're ignoring it. <laughs> so. Okay, Scorpio, what else do we need to know from us Scorpios? Okay, King and Queen of Wands. Need a card from my King and Queen of Wands. I mean, King King of Wands and Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. Yep, the devil. Didn't that come out twice? Yep. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Somebody's in some addictions, either you or your person, both of you, somebody, or this could be a lot of passion between you. Wow, that's crazy. And pride and ego, yep. You know this page of wands, king of wands, definitely got a pride and ego issue. They could be definitely be a Leo with that sun card. Okay, pride and ego. All right, anything else? Holy Spirit. Anything else we need to know? Anything else we need to know? Stuck. Yep. They're stuck. They're still, they may still be in a third party. I don't know. They're stuck where they're at right now. Somebody is. They're stuck like they're like in Hangman Tree. Divine Feminine. Yep, you're Divine Feminine. Wow. So this is a um, the sun and the moon. Yeah, this is a twin flame relationship. Balancing the scales. Justice twice. Karmic justice. Let's see what else. You're the divine feminine. Divine feminine. This is your divine masculine. They need a lot of work. <laughs> they need to heal. They need to work on themselves before you can take them back, Scorpio. If that's what you want to do right now, you put that situation to rest. You're defensive about it. A lot of mirroring energy going on in here, too. You know, the saying. Yeah. Okay, any more cards for anything else we need to know for Scorpio? Okay, Observer. Yep, you got a lurker. We got lurking, the lurking card. And the, I mean, the Page of Swords. I'm sorry. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Lurker. And we got it over here, too, three times. So they're watching. 
refocus. You need to refocus on yourself for a while. Let them heal. And you are in separation because of that eight of wands in reverse. There's no communication. Okay. Anything else? Understanding came out twice. Let me see here. So let me find that understanding. This can mean that Scorpio, you reach an understanding that you need to put this situation to rest because this person is in devil energy. They need a lot of shadow work. Okay, maybe that because right now you're in the seven of wands and you put it to rest and, and this person has got a lot of shadow work to do. You might just be putting this on hold or you might have just decided to get rid of it altogether. Okay, what kind of... Um, what about the romance angels to say about this king of wands and queen of pentacles there's nobody else on here they may have not be with that third party the observer the lurker could be the third party i don't know kids yeah free yourself it's time to take back control of your life yep i think that's your energy scorpio you want to free yourself Forgive, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in the present moment. You may have to learn to forgive that person just for yourself, not for them. What else, Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? Okay. Heart to heart conversations honestly discuss feelings as they come back i mean i would talk to them okay but make sure they you let them know not to be in that energy and they know you're intuitive with that moon card wedding this situation involves married marriage somebody here could be married either you're married or they they're married they could be, this person's probably i think i'm getting this person's married they're in that third party i think they're married okay all right, and the marriage I'm getting, unrequited love. When they left you, all they found was, they they might have left you and married someone else, and all they found was unrequited love, okay? Okay. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's get some Mercury messages for this King of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. What would this King of Wands like to say to my Scorpio, who is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, um, I really see myself settling down with you. They may want to marry you now. Sometimes I could hear you talking to me. Telepathy, so I told you, you're not talking in the 3D, but you are talking in the 5D. Because of you, I know my worth. I am worthy, okay? Yep, this King of Wands could have had some self-esteem issues. You've influenced them to explore new beliefs. They're going to tell the world how much you mean to them, and they're, they hope they haven't lost you. Okay. Let's see. Eternal messages. King of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. This is who, this is a couple. This is you, Scorpio. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're on, you're on the defense. <laughs> So, and you're divine feminine. Divine feminine. So this is a divinely guided relationship. I've seen that temperance card coming up. You influence me in no in ways no one ever has. And I really do miss you a lot. So it's that person from the past. They miss you. They're trying to act happy. They know you don't trust them. Okay. Anything else? Um sip to life see anything else for this queen of pentacles and king of wands okay depression yeah this king of wands could be very depressed because of that nine of swords came out for their energy okay they're very depressed music concert dj club party music event musician performing they could be some kind of performer or just love music or they might like to go to the club a lot okay and then we got sip to life too but this is your divine feminine. This is your divine masculine. But you've decided to put it to rest. Like I said, just because they're your divine partner doesn't mean you have to be with them. Anything else for Scorpio? Scorpio and their person. Whoa, stripper. 
This person that they are with now could be a stripper. Opportunity ahead. Theft. I don't know what that's about. Separation twice. So you're separated. Um, I don't know what that theft thing is about. You tell me, Scorpio. Yeah, liar. Someone isn't being honest. I told you, Five of Swords energy. They might be coming just to steal, steal all the swords. Okay? I don't know. But they want to reconcile. But the trust is broken. Because you receive some kind of spiritual knowledge. Okay? All right. Sip to life three. Father. Absent father. Toxic relationship with father. Father wounds. I'm getting that your person. The king of wands. Something has happened on a Thursday. I don't know what that's about. Spring. Something significant about the spring. Maybe they got married in the spring on a Thursday. Or I don't know. Just you figure that out. Planning retirement ahead. Okay. That could be you. <laughs> You were them. All right. Pretty cut and dry read, Scorpio. Urban lyrics. Okay. What would my King of Wands like to de dedicate to his divine feminine, the Queen of Pentacles, which the Queen of Pentacles is my Scorpio. But you're putting this to rest right now until, you know, you're on the defense right now. I don't know. It's up to you, Scorpio. You only, you got to do what you think is best for you. This person was not good to you. But they are your your divine masculine, it looks like, so. Okay, what kind of song would this King of Wands like to dedicate to the Queen of Pentacles? I wanna sex you up. I wanna sex you up. I think of who's that song. It's because hip hop, you don't stop. Something like that. I want to sex you. See, they just want to come in and they just want to come in and do the wild thing. See, the Ace of Wands come up. That Knight of Cups and Ace of Wands. That might be all they want. I don't, I don't want to say that. Irreplaceable. Oh, yeah. To the left, to the left. Ooh. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box. To the left. In my closet. In your closet. That's my stuff. If I bought it, please don't touch. Yeah, that's you, Scorpio. They might have thought they was irreplaceable, but nah. Okay. <laughs> okay, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, it looks like they just want, they might just want sex. I don't know, because that Ace of Wands and that Knight of Cups came out. <laughs> Waiting for a girl like you. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. Yep. Yep. Zoom. Foolish dreamer. Yep. Second time around. Yep, that's it. I call your name. There it is again. We know how that goes. I got love on my mind. I got love on my mind. Mm, that's by Natalie Cole. Yeah, they want to come in. They got Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. They may just want to come in for sex. I don't know, baby. I'm ready to give you all my love by Gerald Levert. Gerald Levert. That's enough songs. <laughs> okay, guys, that was your reading. I hope I helped some Scor my Scorpios out there. I love you guys. You're my biggest supporters. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you in the next reading. God bless and bye.